Hey, Margie here. Are you ready to learn how you can use herbal substances called adaptogens as well as superfoods to reduce your stress, improve your health, and just help you create more balance in your life? Well, if the answer is yes, then you are in the right place because today's special guest is Shanai Pelka. And Shanai is the research and development manager for Organifi and founder of Seven Springs Organic Farm. She's an herbalist, nutritionist, health educator, and mother of three. Shanai is currently building a regenerative farm and cafe with her daughters in Green Mountain, North Carolina. She is passionate about food, herbs, medicinal mushrooms, sustainability, and community. And in today's talk, we're focusing on adaptogens and superfoods and how we can use those to really improve our health and overall well-being. So stay tuned. Welcome, Shanai. I'm really excited to have you on the podcast and just so glad you can be with us here today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. I always like to start with the backstory because I think it's so important for the listeners to understand how you got to do what you're doing today. And they really have to go back a little ways. So why don't you share that with everybody? Awesome. Yeah. The backstory of how I got to where I am today was really like a pivotal life-changing moment for me. Um, so I was just generally speaking, a type A high stress, high achieving person all my life. And when I was in undergrad, I was planning to go to med school. I, I was just, I felt like I had to go to med school in order to be someone, you know, I felt like I would be a loser if I didn't go to med school. And so I was, you know, straight A student, worked, did, you know, was in a sorority, kind of, kind of doing it all. And um, my junior year of my undergrad, I got pregnant. So changed my life. I um, had a baby when I was, had just turned 21. And you know, the whole time I thought, well, I'm going to finish undergrad immediately my last semester, and then I'm going to go right to med school. And, you know, being a stay at home mom is only for people who have nothing better to do. That was my mentality. And I had my son and immediately fell in love with being a mother. And um, I struggled for about three years. I ended up having, I got married. I had three kids within four years and really struggled for most of that time, um, struggling because I felt like I needed to be more than a mom, but I wanted to be a mom. I wanted to be home with the kids, you know, but I fought it all the time. I fought it and I was always trying, you know, I thought I needed to wear the white coat to, to be someone. And so I was always putting this stress on myself that I didn't need to put on myself. I mean, it's hard enough being a young new parent um, my ex-husband traveled all the time and I was home with the kids and that's stressful enough, you know? So basically what happened is, you know, by the time I had my, my third child, I was 26. I had been, you know, under multiple years of stress that I didn't really need to be putting on myself. And um, so I had just turned 27. We were getting ready to move from Michigan to California. My ex-husband had already been gone. He took a job in California. So I was it was Christmas time. I was selling the house. I was alone with the kids. I was finishing classes, um, you know, painting the house, getting it ready. Um, and I had been exposed to a lot of chemicals during that time. Um, we had bought a new minivan and it's, you know, winter in Michigan. So I'm driving around with the windows closed, inundated with all sorts of chemicals. And then we're painting the house. And then I have all this emotional stress, you know, from the move and just all these years of pent up, you know, stress. Um, and I, I just started to feel sick and I had just like a nonspecific kind of fever, sore throat. And at that time I hadn't really gotten super into herbs. So I didn't really use herbs to keep my, you know, if nowadays, if I felt like I was maybe going to get something, I would grab my andrographis and my astragalus and, you know, I would never even think twice about it. But I was terrified that I was going to get pneumonia for some reason. I guess it was that I was just in an anxious state. You know, my adrenals were a little weak. I was anxious. 
So I went to the doctor and I convinced him to give me Zithromax because there was a lot of people uh, around me that had pneumonia at that point for some reason. So I got the Zithromax and took my first dose one morning and I went to a roller skating party with the kids, didn't fall or anything. And the next morning I woke up and I was covered in bruises like all over my body. And I felt really weak and I thought, oh, you know, I'm low in iron, low in vitamin K, something like that. So I took my next dose and I woke up the following morning with blood coming out of my tongue and out of my nose and so weak. And I had to go to the hospital at that time. And I, I found out that I had almost no platelets. Um, I had what's called idiopathic thrombocytopenia purpura, ITP for short. Idiopathic just means that you're, you don't know the cause it's autoimmune related. Um, and I was killing my platelets. And if I would have fallen when I was at the roller skating party, I would have died. So, um, that was pretty, that was kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back, you know, the Zithromax and it is a cause Zithromax can cause ITP as can other pharmaceuticals and, um, it's, it kind of depends on, I, I do believe that if I had been in a more balanced state, I would have been able to handle it, you know, but it was kind of like that, that last moment. Um, so I was in the hospital, the hematologist said, the only way that we can heal you is to do a splenectomy. And it's only maybe a third of his patients would recover. And he said, well, and then you have to be on antibiotics for the rest of your life. And I'm like, okay, well, the very substance that made me sick that I don't ever want to take ever again my whole life, you were telling me I would need to be on it for the rest of my life and I'd have to have a surgery. And um, they kept giving me injections of prednisone, which is a um, corticosteroid and um, it was terrible, but it was kind of like life-saving. I needed it just to bring up my platelets a little bit because normal platelets would be over 150,000 and mine were around zero. And so every time they'd give me a prednisone injection, my platelets would maybe go up to 20,000. So it maybe got me out of the, out of the woods. I was safe laying in a hospital bed. And um, at that point, I just had to make a decision because every time we tried to get off prednisone, my platelets would dive again. Um, so I, I left the hospital. I checked out of the hospital. I got on a Chinese herbal regimen. Um, one was a, an immune, just an immune balancing blend. And then one was just a blood building blend. And I got on that and literally within two weeks, my platelets were at a hundred thousand. And that still was a little low for me because I did have a, during, I did have a, um, I menstruated during that time and it was so heavy. I couldn't have even imagined um, if I would have menstruated during when I was at like zero, I probably would have. I don't know. I, I probably would have um, been in the hospital for sure. Um, it was really scary. So at that point I was like, okay, I'm at a hundred thousand. I know I can, you know, walk around. I could, you know, do most normal things without the fear of bleeding in my brain. Um, but I decided that um, I wanted to balance my body more. So I got on a bunch of other supplements and, and some adaptogens and um, within another two weeks, I was at 275,000, which is where I stayed and which is where I've been ever since. And the key was, you know, our bodies have this innate ability to heal when given the right tools. And I was obviously out of balance and I used things from the natural world to balance myself. And, uh, but the problem at that point, I had another problem my adrenals were so weak. And because I'd been on steroids that my adrenal cortex stopped making cortisol. And, you know, we talk a lot about cortisol being the stress hormone and cortisol being bad, but you need cortisol to live. And at that point I had just turned 27. I couldn't even walk up the stairs. I was that weak. Couldn't walk up the stairs. I started having panic attacks everywhere. Every time I went into the grocery store line, I would have a panic attack unless I had my little, my little baby with me, I would pick her up and the maternal instinct just overrode my panic. 
um, my impending doom. But um, I also got pneumonia then because, you know, you need cortisol for a proper immune response as well. And so at that point, I did a ton of research on the adrenal glands and what adrenal fatigue is and um, what stress actually does to your body. And I formulated my first product at that point. This was like 19 years ago. Um, I formulated my first product. It was, it was an adrenal su supporting product and it uh, contained ashwagandha and rhodiola and alithro and cordyceps and schisandra, um, some B vitamins. So all of the things that you need to support your adrenal glands and it saved my life. You know, wow. I, I, everything turned around for me. I, I went from always feeling like I couldn't breathe because I was always in a state of panic to, you know, feeling balanced, feeling energized, um, no more, no more panic attacks in the grocery store, um, no more respiratory infections. And that was my pivotal moment where I realized that if I had gone to just traditional med school, you know, uh, the, just the traditional med schools, I would have just been using these drugs and treatments and surgeries. And I, I don't, I don't think I would have been able to heal myself. I don't know if I would have been open-minded enough to heal myself. Wow. That's some story. And now you've come to work for this amazing company and you're formulating things for people all over. That's incredible. So let's just dig into, because I think you've hit on a lot of things. Most people don't really know. They've heard about ashwagandha, rhodiola, and they've heard of the word adaptogen, but a lot of people don't know what that is and they can be so helpful for so many people. So why don't you explain what adaptogens are and how they can be used to really, really help stress so many health conditions and really, as you say, balance, which I believe is so key. You know, that's just, I, I love that word. That's actually every year I come up with a word that's my theme for the year. And this year it's balance. <laughs> So it really, that really has a special meaning for me as well. So why don't you fill us in on adaptogens and what, how that brings balance into our lives and improves our health? Yeah. Balance is a great word because I feel like us as Americans, we tend to just go crazy over one thing, whether it's a habit, whether it's working out, whether it's a diet, whether it's a, a certain food that we're consuming and balance is so important, but adaptogens, the way I see an adaptogen is, um, some is um, something like a plant or a mushroom that can help your body have a successful adaptation to stress and keep the body in balance. So keep the adrenal glands balanced, keep the immune system balanced and even help the um, hormonal system be balanced because all of these systems, they all work together. None of them are independent of one another. So uh, I think of an adaptogen as, as sort of that thermostat. So if the temperature in the room gets too hot, then that adaptogen works to lower the temperature. And if the temperature in the room gets too cold, that adaptogen works to increase the temperature. And ashwagandha is 100% one of my favorite adaptogens. And um, the reason why I think it's so important now is that we you know, we have this stress response, the sympathetic stress response, fight or flight, built into us. And it's really important. You know, we release certain um, hormones and neurochemicals when we're exposed to stress. So we have like epinephrine and norepinephrine. And then, you know, we release cortisol because cortisol is really important. It gives us the energy to get through the stressful event as well. And this has been built into us. And, and today the problem is, is that we're being inundated with stress from everything. You know, we have, we have not only emotional stress, we were, you know, the baby crying all night, the stressful job, the, the toxic relationship, obviously the lack of sleep, but we have stress from food. We've got glyphosate, different plastics, different chemicals, um, you know, pesticides that we're exposed to, which actually puts us under stress as well. We also have stress from, um, EMFs where we're exposed to stress from, so many things that we never were before, whether it's a smart meter, or a cell phone tower, or just your cell phone, or, or you know, your Wi-Fi connector, um, 
you know, we have the exhaust, the fumes, we have different um, toxins in our water that we're even exposed to when we shower. Even if we're drinking clean water, you know, we're absorbing these toxins from our shower. So we are constantly inundated and our body is, whether it's our adrenal glands, our liver, our immune system, we're constantly trying to strive to stay in balance. And, you know, I love the, I love the word balance. And I'm sure you talk about this a lot because you focus on bones, but, you know, an example is the osteoclasts and the osteoblasts and how, you know, this complex hormonal system, if we don't have enough calcium in our blood, will tell these, um, these cells to like break down calcium from the bone and bring it to our blood. And our body is just so complicated and just amazing at how it strives to stay in balance. But when we're constantly inundated and constantly stressing our body to the max, you know, it's really difficult. And, and another example is we're just all so busy. So we're going to stay up and we're not going to let ourselves sleep. And then we're going to wake up and we're going to drink coffee throughout the day or some kind of a caffeine throughout the day and, and sugar. And that's all um, stimulating the adrenal glands and stressing the adrenal glands and even over-exercising does the same thing. So true. So the adaptogens, I, th that's what I think is so different about the adaptogens from that they work both ways. <laughs> you know, usually, okay, if you have too much of this, you take this. If you have too little of this, you take this. But it's just balanced. I like I like the analogy that you made. That's so wonderful. So so, so some of your favorites. So ashwagandha. Yeah. So what I love about ashwagandha is an example of how balancing it is. You can take it if you're low in energy because it helps you, you know, have balanced energy. You can take it if you have trouble sleeping because it helps your circadian rhythms and helps you sleep. If you have allergies or chron chronic respiratory infections, low immunity, it helps with that. It helps with libido. It helps with um, even balancing your sex hormones and it helps with um, focus. So ashwagandha is just amazing. And um, you're just better able to handle stress. I'm sure you know people everybody is different. People have different predispositions and what they can handle, but some people, you know, one thing can happen to them in a day and they're just like, it's the end of the world. You know, other people can, can handle a lot, but really ashwagandha is just one of those herbs that if you're one of those people that have a really hard time handling stress, it will really help you. Yeah, no, it's great. So, okay. So ashwagandha, you mentioned rhodiola. That's another one that has, is so powerful. Yeah, I love rhodiola for um, its effect on um, focus and cognition, also balance and energy and immune health and helping the body better cope with stress. So rhodiola is great. We actually have rhodiola in our red juice, in Organifi red juice. And so at Organifi, we actually have adaptogens in most of our products. So our green juice has a clinical dose of ashwagandha, which is awesome. So you're not only getting all of the antioxidants and phytonutrients and micronutrients from drinking a green juice, but you're, you're getting the benefits of having a clinical dose of a really great full spectrum ashwagandha. And um, then our gold, our gold is really great, um, especially when you think about stress and relaxation and balance and, you know, even focus because our, our gold um, has reishi in it. I love reishi, reishi mushroom. We, we use a really high quality fruiting body mushroom extract, and it's an eight to one, meaning that for every eight pounds of raw material of the mushroom, we get one pound of extract. So it's extremely potent, um, really great uh, the growing medium. They're grown on wood, just the way mushrooms are supposed to be grown on. So I love our reishi and Oh, the cool thing about reishi is it is the, the mushroom, it's an adaptogen. It's the mushroom that's most studied for rest and relaxation, but it also gives you energy. It's really good for the immune system as well. So our golden milk, which is the perfect, you already mentioned that it makes you tired. So it's yeah. a great, <laughs> and, and people are looking for that. So it really does help support rest and relaxation. So it's got a really great, uh, strong, potent turmeric extract 
with ginger, coconut milk powder, and then it has turkey tail mushroom for immunity. And it's got reishi for balance. And it also has lemon balm, which is the relaxation herb. So that's probably why when you drink it at in the afternoon, it'll make you feel a little tired. So just drink it before you go to bed. Right. Well, the funny thing is with a while back, a long time ago, um, I, you know, I was sent some of to try the products and the green juice. And I'm not a person that I just don't love powdered juices or any, you know, but it's delicious. I don't know what it is, what you put in that, but it's so tasty, but it also, I guess it's the ashwagandha. You just get this overall sense of well-being. It's just something great about it. It tastes good. I, you know, I'm a big believer in green. So you're energized, but you also have this sense of just happiness and well-being. It's just, it's, I, I really love it. But the gold I cannot take sometimes in the afternoon, I like some tea or it would be because it tastes good. Also the gold, it would be sort of the time I might enjoy taking it. But for me, and I don't, I really don't have an issue sleeping, but for me, it just relaxes me too much. And so it would just, I couldn't really be as productive as I want to because I feel so relaxed. But in the evening, it's absolutely perfect, just like you said. So, yeah. 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 Do you ever drink coffee? You know, rarely. I, I used to drink coffee and I was almost addicted to coffee. And coffee, and, and so now, I, like if I'm driving somewhere I, and I tend to get tired, then I'll drink coffee. And once in a while, I'll have coffee, but not on a regular basis. But that does really wake me up. I mean, I'm very affected by the coffee yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, I was going to say, if you ever want to make a coffee into more of like a superfood coffee, um, add some of the gold chocolate to it. And it's, wow. an and I, I would say that the adaptogens from the gold chocolate, well, it makes it taste amazing, but also the adaptogens will kind of like smooth out the jitters. If you're one that's prone to get jitters or, or kind of a crash from caffeine. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Cause they're both very tasty. I'm, I'm very impressed with the taste, because as I said, I'm not a person who typically likes things in that form, but they're actually, actually very, very good. So are there any other adaptogens that are, are that you really like to use or that you think could really benefit people? I mean, there, I know there's so many. There's so many. Um, I'll focus on two more. Um, there's cordyceps, cordyceps, which is another medicinal mushroom. And it's best known, you know, aside from its adapt adaptat adaptogenic properties it's best known for energy and endurance so cordyceps is absolutely amazing really powerful um holy basil is another great one it's um it's not the same as basil as your typical you know basil that you're gonna consume a pesto with or on your pizza but it's it's gr grown in india mostly i have it planted on my farm right now but it's not native here but it grows pretty well here in the mountains where i'm I am in North Carolina, um, but it's, it's really amazing at, I find it to be most amazing for people who are having trouble with anxiety and it works really well with ashwagandha. I mean, it's also really great for the immune system. Um, it can be used for inflammation and pain, um, but really it works well to kind of calm and relax somebody and keep them in balance. Oh, that's great. Let's move to superfoods because I know, you know, you choose which ingredients and which foods you want to put in your formulation. So why don't you sort of tell us, you know, what is a superfood? Because I know the definition is, is a little, it's a little different than most people think, I guess. And how do you choose which ones are going to have the greatest impact? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, first of all, before we move on to superfoods, I did want to mention one more thing about adaptogens. I know that you said that when you drink green, you feel an immediate kind of sense of well-being. And I get that as well. And I attribute it to a combination of the hydration, you know, from the coconut water and all of the greens, the micronutrients, plus the ashwagandha. But in generally speaking, you want to take adaptogens regularly in order to feel any sort of like massive changes or benefits from the adaptogens. It's not like a caffeine where you feel it immediately or valerian that can put you to sleep immediately. 
it's more of a kind of, you know, calm working behind the scenes takes a little while to help get your body into balance. So I just wanted to mention that for your listeners who maybe are really wanting to dive into adaptogens, whether it's by consuming Organifi Green, Red and Gold, or any one of the combination or, you know, going to buy some holy basil, um, just give your body some time because it takes some time to get your body back into balance. Okay. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So superfoods. So superfood is basically just a food that is more nutrient dense than, you know, a regular standard food. So it is, there is a really loose definition. A lot of people think of superfoods as like, you know, berries, which are really rich in antioxidants, um, exotic foods exotic fruits like acai, baobab, kamu kamu, things like that, you know, where they're really rich in vitamins and antioxidants and and also a lot of micronutrients. So basically when we're formulating a new product, so the, the latest product that I formulated is called Harmony, Organifi Harmony, and it's a hormonal balancing product. So basically I decide with the marketing team what, what the needs are. And, um, you know, this, we, we know that a lot of our customers are looking for hormonal balance. So balance within the body, um, more than just what an adaptogen would do, but like focusing on progesterone and estrogen balance. And so we always at Organifi, everything has to be certified organic. Everything has to be glyphosate residue free certified. And we, And we always make sure that we're going above and beyond. So it's not just a certified organic farm, but it's a farm that's going above and beyond with sustainability, with the way that they treat their community, with um, social impact. And so um, we're actually working with a lot of farms that are doing a regenerative organic certification. So it goes above and beyond putting carbon back in the ground and actually building up our soil so that future generations can have healthier soil. So I feel really good about our sourcing. Um, you know, that that's kind of where we start. So with Harmony, we decided to do a hot cacao because what woman doesn't love hot chocolate, right? <laughs> For cravings, but think of a hot chocolate that gives you kind of that you can taste the sweetness, you're getting your beneficial, all your minerals from the chocolate, you're getting beneficial fats from the coconut milk, um, but you're, you're not getting any sugar, you know, maybe a gram of sugar from some coconut sugar, but it's absolutely amazing. And with that, you know, I decided what herbs I wanted to add. And so I dive into the sources. I not only check their farming practices, make sure they have the organic cert, but I also have to check for glyphosate residue because unfortunately a lot of powdered products on the market, even if they're certified organic, they'll test positive for glyphosate residue. We go so like we work so hard to consume organic foods, but there's two things that happen. Number one, glyphosate is the the most widely spread herbicide in the whole world and it's water soluble. So you can't just sequester it and get it, get it out of the system. It is in our air. It's in our water. It's in our soil. You know, um, even if you're, even if you have an organic farm, most everybody in this world now has glyphosate in their body. And number two, a lot of organic farmers um, will use glyphosate as a desiccating or drying agent after like after harvest so that they lose less crops. So that's why you'll find some pea proteins on the market that are certified organic that have tested positive for glyphosate. So wait, can we just stop there for a second? This is shocking to me because I thought in the organic certification that you really weren't able to use glyphosate as a desiccant. That's not the case? You're not supposed to, but it happens sometimes, especially with overseas proteins. So that's why I get all of our products certified glyphosate residue free through the detox project. So it's called detoxproject.org. You can go on the website and look at all the brands who have gone above and beyond organic to be certified glyphosate residue free. And um, we have to test quarterly to make sure nothing has changed with our supply chain. You know, basically wow. every time we have a run. 
And um, so I'm really passionate about that because something that a lot of people don't know is you probably know this because you had somebody talking about glyphosate with you recently. But what's really interesting is that glyphosate is patented as an antibiotic. So it didn't even receive, I don't think it has the patent for an herbicide, but it does have the patent as an antibiotic. So it kills your gut microbiome. And we all know that our gut microbiome is everything. It's, you know, most of our immune system is in the epithelial lining of our, of our gut. And most of our serotonin and GABA, our neurotransmitters, our happy transmitters are manufactured in our gut as well. So there, I do believe that there is a high incidence of not only inflammation and um, autoimmune diseases from consuming glyphosate, um, but also depression and anxiety. You know, this is so interesting. And I'll, I will put in the show notes, the episode with Dr. Stephanie Seneff from MIT, who's done so much research on glyphosate. And she really related how glyphosate, and glyphosate, if anyone's listening and doesn't know what it is, it's the active ingredient in Roundup Ready. And so, and she really correlated so many reasons why it can have negative effects on our bones. So it's in so many ways, it's just so destructive. And I think it's responsible as do so many, you know, for, for so many of the problems and a lot of the illnesses that we have today. It's so sad, but that's wonderful that you can go up over and beyond. And I wasn't, I didn't ever realize that, that, that even if they have the organic certification, they're still, they still can, they still can have some glyphosate. And they're not supposed to, but you're saying it happens. It happens. Wow. Okay. So everybody should look for that other certification. And that's wonderful that your company does that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We're also working with a farm in India where we get our turmeric from, we get our um, coffee cherry from, we get our holy basil and our ginger from, and they're amazing. They're building, they're building schools for um, poor rural kids, building, giving them supplies. They provide water for villages. Um, they, they use all these small farmers and provide them all the tools that they need to be successful. Um, and they also power their facility with the pulp left over when they're processing like the coffee cherry, they use the pulp to then generate the, the fuel to run their manufacturing plant. So, and they're, they're working on their regenerative organic certification. So we're looking within the next, I don't know, our long-term goal would be to only use ingredients that have a regenerative certification, which is very difficult to get. But at Organifi, we're really passionate about the the environment, the planet, you know, because we only have one world to live in, you know, for future generations. Oh, what, what a great mission. That's just, you just think if everybody did that, how incredible it would be. But why, why not lead the way? Why not lead the way? And why not be a role model for others? Wow. So tell people how they can, you know, where do you see how people use the different things. Like if people are saying, oh, well, why would I use the, and, well, two questions after, why did you choose instead of making them in pill form to make them in the drink form? What was your rationale for that? Well, we wanted them to be deliciously craveable. You know what I mean? Um, and also, for instance, if we were going to make a pill of the green, we'd pro you'd probably have to be swallowing like 10 capsules per serving to get the same nutrients, you know. So pills are great if you need a single herb for something, you know, if you need to go buy holy basil separately and you're just going to take a single capsule, that's totally fine. But we have such great synergistic blends, um, but they also taste great. And we wanted to make them deliciously craveable so that it would be a habit. And um, with that habit, you're going to consume it every day. It's going to, going to change your life. You know, when you, when you start something like that, that's good for you. You just want to start doing more things that are good for you because then you just start feeling better. Yeah. What, what a win-win. So just walk us through the greens, like, you know, the greens have, why don't you just go through the different things and what, what they're used for exactly. Yeah. So we, we look at greens as kind of like a great way to reset your body in the morning. 
you know, you're, you're getting your clinical dose of ashwagandha, um, you know, you will therefore be set up for a healthy cortisol pattern because we, we all have this diurnal cortisol pattern that it's really important. It's, you know, really high in the morning, which gives you energy to wake up. Um, you kind of have some peaks and valleys and it's the lowest, usually I think between midnight or 2 AM, you know, but we really want to, to encourage that healthy cortisol balance and our green juice does have substantiation. We're able to say it, um, will either a decrease cortisol. If your cortisol is too high, or it will also balance your cortisol. <laughs> um, in addition to that, you've got high potassium coconut water in green. So it's going to really hydrate you. You also have all of the great greens, Moringa, which is nature's most perfect multivitamin. You've got chlorella, spirulina. So a really good blend of, you know, antioxidants and micronutrients and hydration. So it's a really great start to your day. Um, the red juice is generally meant for mid afternoon pre-workout because it's got beetroot powder, which will improve nitric oxide. Um, we've got a ton of berries, which just taste amazing. They're all freeze dried. So they hold up like the nutrient integrity. So in addition to the berries and beets, you have really great adaptogens. You've got some alithro root, which is Siberian ginseng. You've got rhodiola, which we talked about. You've got cordyceps, which we talked about, and reishi as well. So just a really good overall um, energizing blend, great for mid-afternoon. You know, it's kind of like a healthy indulgence, like you were talking about doing gold in the afternoon. You know, it's kind of a little bit of a sweet treat. So is red. You know, you can make it into a popsicle, throw it in your smoothie, or just drink it with water. Um, so it's one of those really great mid-afternoon guilt-free snacks. Um, and then, and then that brings us to the evening, which would be the golden milk, which has the lemon balm and the reishi and the turkey tail and the turmeric really great for recovery because it's got, you know, turmeric is just absolutely incredible for the body. Um, thousands and thousands of studies on what turmeric can do in the body. Um, you know, and then we have like our side things, depending on what you're really focusing on. We have Harmony that I was telling you about, which I love. Harmony is just an amazing product because it's got the cacao, which so it's really rich in magnesium, different min minerals, the ananamide, you know, which is the bliss molecules that makes you happy. But in addition to that, you've got the good fats from the coconut milk powder, but then you have the hormonal balancing herbs the maca, the chest berry, the shatavari, and the nettle. And, you know, not only are they going, they're adaptogens as well. So they're going to balance your cortisol levels and your energy and your help uh, support your adrenal glands, but they're also going to um, really support healthy um, female hormonal balance, you know, having the proper estrogen to progesterone ratio, whether you're in perimenopause, during menopause or postmenopause, these are again, balance the body. Love that. And I think, you know, so many of us could use that, that it's, it's terrific. Yeah, I, I absolutely love it. The, you know, it's a newer product. It's, I have to say it's that in critical immune are probably my two favorite products that I was able to formulate. And I just, I'm so excited when I hear the testimonials rolling in on Harmony and how much it's helping people, whether it's for, you know, PMS symptoms or whether it's for, you know, hot flashes or energy in, in menopausal and perimenopausal women. Oh, that's fabulous. Wait, tell me about the immune. I'm not familiar with that new product. Oh, wow. Well, that came out about a year ago during, you know, COVID when people really were worried about their immune system. So it's got four really potent herbs for immune health, andrographis, astragalus, olive leaf, and elderberry. Mm. So really potent extracts. Um, none of them are just a whole herb. They've all been extracted for their active um, constituents. And it's basically, you take two capsules. It's, it's just an easy, you know, small bottle. It's called critical immune. Oh. Um, you can take it long-term, but it's designed for acute use. Basically, if you, you know, let's say you're on an all night flight or, oh, I haven't had time to sleep well in like three nights because I've been so busy or, oh, I've been around somebody who's been sick. Just start popping your critical immune. I mean, during the cold and flu season, I, I usually take it every day just because I, 
I really believe strongly in a lot of those herbs and andrographis um, has been one of my very favorite herbs for immunity. And it works really well with um, astragalus. So it's not only an adaptogen, but it really truly helps with respiratory function. So if you're dealing with a cold or, you know, any type of respiratory illness. Wow. Really and how many of those a day? What's the dose? You can take, it depends. Like if you're just taking a maintenance dose, then just two a day. If you're, if you're sick, you can take two twice a day or three times a day if you want, you know? Oh, great. Well, there's so much, your wealth of information. There's so much to talk about. And I'm just really happy that I had you on here. Is there anything else that you want to share before we end? Cause we could go on for hours because there's so many great foods and so many great things to discuss, but yeah, no, I mean, we, I'd love to, you know, come on again at some point and talk about, you know, happiness and balance and how balance is the key to happiness and, and how the gut is involved in happiness. Uh, I would love to come back sometime. It's been really fun. Oh, that's so great. Well, you have a special, which is very kind of you. You're offering a special deal for the listeners. You want to just tell everybody what that is? Yes, it is 15% off of any product. And where do they go to, to use this code? Oh, so we'll have it just right here in the show notes. So I'll put it in the show notes. So I'll have, okay. I'll have the link, right? You know, they can just go into the show notes and I'll have the link for that. Great. And they'll just say Margie. Yeah. So I guess, yeah. So they'll just use the coupon code Margie for the 15% yeah. off. Well, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's great. So everybody could try it on their own and, and see what works for them. And, and they really are good. You know, as, as everybody knows who listens, I never promote or say anything about products that I don't personally use myself and really think they're wonderful. So, but I'm so impressed with your company and the work that you do in the formulations and that, as well as the sourcing, because, you know, we all have to take care of the environment and that's just such a wonderful thing that you're doing. It's just such a win-win for the people who are consuming your products, but you're going that next step to the sourcing and really helping make a difference in the world. So thank you so much for being here. And it was wonderful to meet you and hear all about what you're doing and look forward to staying in touch. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. You too. I hope you enjoyed my interview with Shania. You have a better understanding of how you can use adaptogens as well as superfoods in your life to improve your health, reduce your stress, and just create more balance in your life. All the links to the great products from Organifi will be in the show notes. And make sure to use coupon code MARGIE, M-A-R-G-I-E, for 15% savings on anything that you purchase. So bye for now. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.